a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Kevin Smith Kevin Patrick Smith is an American filmmaker, actor, comic book writer, author, and podcaster. He came to prominence with the low-budget comedy film Clarks, which he wrote, directed, co-produced, and acted in as the character Silent Bob of Stoner Duo J. and Silent Bob. J and Silent Bob have appeared in Smith's follow-up films Mall Rats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, J, and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clarks 2 which was set primarily in his home state of New Jersey. While not strictly sequential, the films frequently featured crossover plot elements, character references, and a shared canon described by fans as the Viewask Universe, named after his production company Viewaskew Productions, which he co-founded with Scott Mosier. Smith also directed and produced films such as the buddy cop action comedy Cop Out, the horror film Red State, and the horror comedy Tusk, the first film in the True North trilogy. Smith is the owner of Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash, a comic book store in Red Bank, New Jersey that is the subject of the reality television show Comic Book Men. He also hosts the movie review television show Spoilers. As a podcaster, Smith co-hosts several shows on his own Smodcast podcast network, including Smodcast, Fat Man on Batman, and the live show Hollywood Babylon. Smith is well known for participating in long, humorous Q&A sessions that are often filmed for DVD release, beginning with an evening with Kevin Smith. Early Life Kevin Patrick Smith was born on August 2, 1970 in Red Bank, New Jersey the son of Grace, a homemaker, and Donald E. Smith, a postal worker. He has an older sister, Virginia, and an older brother, Donald Smith Jr. He was raised in a Catholic household, in the nearby clamming town of Highlands. As a child, Smith's days were scheduled around Donald's late shifts at the post office. Donald grew to despise his job, which greatly influenced Smith who remembers his father finding it difficult on some days to get up and go to work. Smith vowed never to work at something that he did not enjoy. Smith later attended Henry Hudson Regional High School, where as a B and C student, he would videotape school basketball games and produce sketch comedy skits in the style of Saturday Night Live. An overweight teen, he developed into a comedic observer of life in order to successfully socialize with friends and girls. After high school, Smith attended the new school in New York, but did not graduate as a filmmaker. On his 21st birthday, Smith went to see Richard Linklater's comedy Slacker. Smith, impressed by the fact that Linklater set and shot the film in his hometown of Austin, Texas rather than on a soundstage in a major city, was inspired to become a filmmaker and to set films where he lived. Smith relates, it was the movie that got me off my ass. It was the movie that lit a fire under me, the movie that made me think, hey, I could be a filmmaker. And I had never seen a movie like that before ever in my life. Smith attended the Vancouver Film School for four months, where he met longtime collaborators Scott Mosier and Dave Klein, but left halfway through the course in order to save money to make his first film. Smith moved home to New Jersey and got his old job back at a convenience store in Leonardo, and decided to set his film, Clark's at the store, borrowing the life in a day structure. From the Spike Lee film Do the Right Thing. To finance the film, Smith maxed out more than a dozen credit cards and sold his much treasured comic book collection, raising the $27,575 needed to make the film. He cast friends and acquaintances in the film's major parts. Clarks was screened at the Sundance Film Festival in 1994, where it won the Filmmaker's Trophy. At a restaurant following the screening, Miramax executive Harvey Weinstein invited Smith to join him at his table, where he offered to buy the movie. In May 1994, it went to the Cannes International Film Festival, where it won both the Prix de la Jeunesse and the International Critics Week Prize. Released in October 1994 in two cities, the film went on to play in 50 markets, never playing on more than 50 screens at any given time. Despite the limited release, it was a critical and financial success, earning $3.1 million. Initially, the film received an NC-17 rating from the MPAR, solely for the sexually graphic language. 
Miramax hired Alan Dershowitz to bring a lawsuit against them per, and at an appeals screening, a jury consisting of members of the National Association of Theatre Owners reversed them per's decision, and the film was given an R rating instead. The film had a profound effect on the independent film community, and according to producer and author John Pearson, is considered one of the two most influential film debuts in the 1990s, along with the brothers McMullen. Smith's second film, Mall Rats, which marked Jason Lee's debut as a leading man, did not fare as well as expected after the remarkable success of Clark's. It received a critical drubbing and earned merely $2.2 million at the box office, despite playing on more than 500 screens. Despite failing, at the box office during its theatrical run, Mall Rats proved more successful in the home video market. Widely hailed as Smith's best film, 1997's Chasing Amy marked what Quentin Tarantino called a quantum leap forward. For Smith, starring Mall Rats alumni Jason Lee, Joey Lauren Adams, and Ben Affleck, the $250,000 film earned $12 million at the box office wound up on a number of critics' year-end best lists and won two Independent Spirit Awards. The film received some criticism from some members of the lesbian community, who felt that it reinforced the perception that all lesbians merely needed to find the right man. Smith, whose brother Donald Smith Jr. is gay, found this accusation frustrating, as he has endeavored to be an LGBT-conscious filmmaker, believing that sexuality is more fluid with social taboos, and not sexual desire, preventing more people from expressing bisexuality. Smith's fourth film, Dogma, featured an all-star cast, and found itself mired in controversy. The religious-themed 1999 comedy, which starred a post-Goodwill hunting Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, as well as Chris Rock, Salma Hayek, George Carlin, Alan Rickman, Linda Fiorentino, and Smith regulars Jason Lee and Jason Mevis, raised criticism by the Catholic League. The film debuted at the 1999 Cannes Film Festival, out of competition. Released on 800 screens in November 1999, the $10 million film earned $30 million. Smith then focused the spotlight on two characters who had appeared in supporting roles in his previous four films. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back featured an all-star cast, with many familiar faces returning from Smith's first four films. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon appear as themselves filming a mock sequel to Goodwill Hunting. The $20 million film earned $30 million at the box office and received mixed reviews from the critics. Jersey Girl with Ben Affleck, Liv Tyler, George Carlin, and Raquel Castro, his first outside of the View Ask universe, was meant to mark a new direction in Smith's career. However, the film took a critical beating as it was seen as, in Smith's own words, Geely 2 due to the fact that it co-starred Affleck and his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez. Despite Smith heavily re-editing the film to reduce Lopez's role to just a few scenes, the film did poorly. At the box office, budgeted at $35 million, it earned only $36 million. In the 2006 sequel, Clark's 2, Smith revisited the Dante and Randall characters from his first film for what was his final visit to the View Ask universe roundly criticized before its release. The film went on to win favorable reviews as well as two awards. It marked Smith's third trip to the Cannes International Film Festival, where Clark's two received an eight-minute standing ovation. The $5 million film, starring Jeff Anderson, Brian O'Halloran, Rosario Dawson, Jason Mevis, Jennifer Schwalbach and Smith himself reprising his role as Silent Bob earned $25 million. Zack and Mary Make a Porno was originally announced in March 2006 as Smith's second non-Ask Universe film. The film, which began shooting on January 18, 2008 in Monroeville, Pennsylvania, and wrapped on March 15, 2008, stars Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks as the title characters who decide to make a low-budget pornographic film to solve their money problems. The film, which was released on October 31, 2008, ran into many conflicts getting an R rating, with Rogan stating, Smith took the film through the Mpah's appeals process and received the R rating, without having to make any further edits. Zack and Miri make a porno was considered a box office flop, in part, because of tepid media advertising for a movie with the title porno, and 
In the aftermath of the film's low performance, the business relationship between Smith and producer Harvey Weinstein became frayed. Zack and Mary make a porno opened behind High School Musical 3, senior year with $10,682,000 from 2,735 theaters with an average of $3,906. The bankable Rogan experienced his worst box office opening ever. In an interview with Catlin McGlynn of the Huffington Post, Smith himself observed, it was announced in 2009 that Smith had signed on to direct a buddy cop comedy starring Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan called A Couple of Dicks and written by the Cullen brothers. Due to controversy surrounding the original title, it was changed to A Couple of Cops before reverting its original title, A Couple of Dicks, due to negative reaction, before finally settling on the title Cop Out. The film, which was shot between June and August 2009, involved a pair of veteran cops tracking down a stolen vintage baseball card, and was released on February 26, 2010 to poor reviews. It was the first film that Smith has directed, but not written. Cop Out opened at number 2, at the box office and was mired in controversy, mostly over reported conflicts he had on the set of the film with lead actor Bruce Willis, marking Smith's last time that he would work with a major studio leading him to return to his independent film roots. In September 2010, Smith started work on Red State, an independently financed horror film loosely inspired by the Westboro Baptist Church and their pastor Fred Phelps, film producers and moguls Bob and Harvey Weinstein who had thus far been involved in the distribution of most of Smith's films, with the exception of More Rats and Cop Out, declined to support Red State. The film stars Michael Parks, John Goodman, and Melissa Leo. Smith had indicated that he would auction off rights to the $4 million film at a controversial event following the debut screening of the film, at Sundance, but instead, kept the rights to the film himself and self-distributed the picture, under the Smodcast Pictures banner. The premiere in January 2011 drew protests from a half-dozen members of the church, along with many more who counter-protested Westboro members. He further explained his decision as a way to return to an era when marketing a film did not cost four times as much as the film itself, a situation he has described as both decadent and deadening. Red State was a box office disappointment, earning $1,104,682 against a budget of $4 million, and open to poor reviews, with the consensus of critics reporting that Red State is an audacious and brash affair that ultimately fails to provide competent scares or thrills. In April 2011, Smith revealed that Red State had already made its budget back with the film making $1 million on the first leg of the tour, $1.5 million from a handful of foreign sales and $3 million from a domestic distribution deal for vote. After Red State, Smith had said in the past he would retire from directing and announced his last movie would be Clark's 3. However, he stated in December 2013 that he would continue to make movies, but only ones that were uniquely his, as opposed to generic ones that anybody could make. In 2013 Smith directed a horror film called Tusk, which was inspired by a story Smith and Scott Mosier read about a Gumtree ad for a man who rents out a room in his house for free, on the condition that the respondent dresses as a walrus for two hours per day. The project began pre-production in September 2013, shooting began on November 4, 2013, and wrapped on November 22, 2013. The film was released on September 19, 2014. It has received mixed reviews, Smith revealed before the release of Tusk that he had written a spin-off. The film, Yoga Hoses, began filming in August 2014, and was released in 2016. It stars Smith's daughter, Harley Quinn Smith, and Lily Rose Depp, reprising their two minor characters from Tusk, alongside Johnny Depp again playing his inspector character from the earlier film. Smith revealed, at the 2014 San Diego Comic Con that he has written a film called Moose Jaws, which he describes as, Jaws, with a moose, and which will be the third and final film in his True North trilogy. In February 2015 XYZ Films announced Smith as one of the directors who will direct the anthology film Holidays, along with Gary Shaw, Sarah Smith, Matt Johnson, Scott Stewart, Nicholas McCarthy, Anthony Scott Burns, Kevin Kulch, and Dennis Widmeyer. On March 12, 
2015 Smith revealed he would film Clark's 3 in May 2015, followed in early 2016 by Moose Jaws and Anti Claws, and also alluded to a Mall Rats sequel, which he confirmed the next day. On April 8, 2015, Smith confirmed that Mall Rats 2 would be his next film, not Clark's 3 as he had previously intended. Smith said, We were talking about initially shooting Clark's 3 this summer and then we were going to get to Mall Rats in the beginning of 2016. And then it jumped into 2015, where we were going to shoot Clark's, and then hopefully Mall Rats before the end of the year. But now, based on a F, ing mall that we all dig that will be going away. The priority has become Mall Rats. So the next F, ing movie I'm making is Mall Rats 2. A majority of the cast from the original film have signed on to appear in the sequel with 16 of 18 confirmed. In June 2016, Smith revealed that Mall Rats 2 was going to be a 10-episode TV series instead, though no networks have shown interest yet. On February 10, 2017, Smith announced the cancellation of Clark's 3, as lead actor Jeff Anderson dropped out of the project three months before shooting. This, combined with trouble of getting the Mall Rats 2 series off the ground, inspired Smith to write and direct a Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back sequel instead, titled Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. The movie was scheduled to be filmed in September 2017. However, shooting has not started yet as of February 2018. In June 2017, Smith started shooting Kilroy Was Here, a horror film based on the graffiti phenomenon that he will direct based on a script co-written by him and Andrew McElfresh, marking the first time he will share writing credit on one of his movies. The script is a retooling of their Anti-Claws movie, which was initially cancelled after the release of Krampus due to the similar story. The film crew is mostly made up of students of the Ringling College of Art and Design, with shooting continuing over every semester break. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?